African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 13th of September, 2024. From September 7th to September 13th this year, the armed forces of the Russian Federation carried out 39 group strikes with high-precision weapons and strike unmanned aerial vehicles, which resulted in the destruction of oil and gas and energy facilities that supported the operation of Ukrainian defense industry enterprises, military airfield infrastructure, gunpowder manufacturing workshops and production of components for operational tactical missiles. In addition, assembly and storage sites for unmanned aerial vehicles, arsenals, ammunition and logistics depots, repair bases for the restoration of weapons and military equipment, as well as temporary deployment points for units of the Ukrainian armed forces, nationalist groups and foreign mercenaries were hit. Over the course of a week, 49 Ukrainian servicemen surrendered on the contact line. During the week, units of the North Group of Forces continued to carry out an operation to destroy Ukrainian Armed Forces formations in the Kursk region. During the offensive, 10 settlements were liberated, Aponosovka, Bayakovo, Vishnevka, Viktorovka, Nezibnoy, Gordievka, Krasnoktyabrskoy, Obakovka, Snagist, and Dzyadi Oktyabr. Air strikes, unmanned aerial vehicles, and artillery fire on areas where personnel and equipment of six mechanized, tank, ranger, assault, three airborne assault brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces, nine territorial defense brigades and a national guard brigade were concentrated thwarted attempts to carry out attacks and introduce enemy reserves. In addition, in the Volchensk and Lipsov directions, the formations of the motorized infantry brigade of the armed forces of Ukraine, two brigades of marines, three territorial defense brigades and a national guard brigade were defeated. Over the course of a week, in the area of responsibility of the North Group of Forces, the enemy's losses amounted to 3,520 servicemen, 25 tanks, 106 combat armored vehicles, 87 cars, 2 combat vehicles of multiple launch rocket systems, and 26 field artillery guns. Six electronic warfare stations were destroyed. During the week, units of the West Group of Forces continued to advance into the depths of the enemy's defense, defeating formations of five mechanized, assault, and airmobile brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, three territorial defense brigades, and the Azov Special Forces Brigade. We repelled 17 counterattacks by assault units of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the National Guard of Ukraine. The enemy lost over 3,620 troops, two tanks, 13 armored combat vehicles, including a Bradley infantry fighting vehicle and four U.S.-made M113 armored personnel carriers, as well as 44 vehicles. In addition, 47 field artillery guns and multiple launch rocket systems were destroyed, including 32 transferred to the Ukrainian armed forces by Western countries. 13 electronic and counter-battery warfare stations, and 31 field ammunition depots. As a result of decisive actions by units of the Southern Group of Troops, the settlements of Krasnogorovka and Grigorovka of the Donetsk People's Republic were liberated. The manpower and equipment of five mechanized, motorized infantry, two infantry, mountain assault, airborne assault, and two airmobile brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces were defeated. Nine counterattacks by enemy assault groups were repelled. The Ukrainian armed forces lost over 4,840 servicemen, nine armored combat vehicles, including a U.S.-made M113 armored personnel carrier, 81 vehicles, and 59 field artillery pieces, 26 of which were made by NATO countries. For electronic and counter-battery warfare stations, as well as 15 field ammunition depots, were destroyed. Units of the Center Group of Forces actively liberated the settlements of Novogradovka, Kalinovo, Memrik, Galitsanovka, and Dalinovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. They defeated the formations of seven mechanized, motorized infantry, two infantry, 
Two Ranger, Airborne Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, a Territorial Defense Brigade, for Brigades of the National Guard and the Lyot Brigade of the National Police of Ukraine. They repelled 50 counterattacks of the enemy's assault groups. Over the course of a week, Ukrainian forces lost up to 3,670 servicemen, two tanks, 23 armored combat vehicles, including a Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and two U.S.-made Max Pro armored vehicles, 22 vehicles, and 42 field artillery pieces. As a result of coordinated actions by units of the East Group of Forces, the settlement of Vadianoi in the Donetsk People's Republic was liberated. The manpower and equipment of the mechanized and motorized infantry brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, three territorial defense brigades and a National Guard brigade were defeated. Twelve counterattacks by Ukrainian Armed Forces units were repelled. The enemy lost up to 820 servicemen, a tank, 24 vehicles, and 10 155mm field artillery guns. Five electronic and counter-battery warfare stations were destroyed. Units of the Dnepr Group of Forces inflicted defeat on formations of two mechanized, infantry, mountain assault brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, a Marine Brigade, and three Territorial Defense Brigades. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 490 servicemen, two combat armored vehicles, 50 cars, two U.S.-made MLRS multiple launch rocket systems, and nine field artillery guns. For electronic warfare stations and six field ammunition depots were destroyed. Over the course of the week, air defense systems shot down nine U.S.-made Adams operational tactical missiles, 30 French-made hammer guided air bombs, 25 U.S.-made Mars rockets, and 433 aircraft-type unmanned aerial vehicles, including 237 outside the Special Military Operations Zone. Since the beginning of the Special Military Operation, a total of 642 aircraft, 283 helicopters, 31,501 unmanned aerial vehicles, 579 anti-aircraft missile systems, 18,130 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,454 multiple launch rocket system combat vehicles, 14,563 field artillery pieces and mortars, and 26,047 special military vehicles have been destroyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.